Hello guys, welcome back to another brand new eForm Simulator video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to max well, how to max well on eForm Simulator with a max. Now the reason why I made this video is it's really hard to find a macro on Mac. Now, if you can't find one, feel free to put it in the comments or whatever. But, I know a really good one that can get the task done. It's really simple and easy to do, as I will show you how to use it in this video. So, what we are going to want to do is download Automator. Now, Automator is a, ro is a robot you can have on Mac. And what it does, it can run task, task for you, and whatever you want it to do. But in this video, we're going to finish with these four. So I'm going to show you how to use that. So right before we start the macro, I'm going to want to claim the middle high. And I'm just going to have one of my friends private sisters. I'm going to want to claim the middle high right here. Middle high, right here. And when I say the middle high, there is really no middle high. You're just going to claim the one that's right on the direct path. Spawn right in the middle. Yeah, and once you get automated, what you are going to do is now my screen's going to get a little bit complicated with the OBS. Ignore that. But we're going to, but now I'm going to show you auto. So right here on my screen, as you see, I have automator open. I have automator. And what you're going to do is we're going to. And what we're going to do is, <laughs> sorry, we are going to start. We are going to go to our hive space right here. And then we're going to go back to Automator. And then you're going to hit record. Now, before I hit record, I'm going to tell you if you just download Automator, which you probably did. If you have it, this did it. If you just did, then you're going to need to give it permission to do that. So you're going to go to System Preferences. It's going to take you to System Preferences, Security and Privacy. Open the lock to make the changes. You have the password. Enter in the password. That's how you do it. And then you're going to tap Automator with that, with that gray box. Click the check mark. And then Automator has permission to record your task. Now we're going to get back. So uh, we're going to click Record. And now it is officially recording as we see right here. Automator recording. You're going to you're gonna go here. It's gonna everything you're doing right now is gonna do. You're gonna go to here and you're gonna reset. And you're gonna have to wait for your wait for your bees. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time. When you're doing it, make sure you are facing forward. As I see I'm facing right now, I am facing forward. Forward. Wait for your bees to come down down, back down to you. When your bees come back down to you. You're just going to act like a macro. You go forward. And this is you. And then stop. You're going to stop right there. Don't touch nothing. You believe it. Like that. Then you're going to jump. Go forward. Jump again. Jump again. And you can do this for any field you want. But I'm going to use strawberries. And then you're going to turn. Down back here, place your sprinkler by pressing the one key, and then your farm. Simply farm. Do whatever you want to do, and you're going to do this for a period of time. Just keep farming. Yeah, you see me right now. Just farming, casually farming. Oh, good old beast one. <laughs> good old beast one, you just casually farm. And then after a while, what you are going to want to do is you're going to stop recording on Automator. Stop. You're going to go back to Automator and it's going to say, watch me do, and it's going to say, do everything that you were doing before. Everything that you did, the exact same. You ignore this. It's complicated. And now, what we're going to do, we're going to see where this is. Click on Utilities. On a bunch of stuff. Don't click on that. Click on utility, and then you're gonna see loop right here. Click on loop, and then you're gonna hold down loop and drag it to the watch you do, and then right here. 
Now, after that, you're going to add, you're going to go to add to continue. You're going to click that to loop automatically. And then you're going to go to, and then you're going to go to stop after 720 minutes. So I'll see with that. And then, right after that, you're going to go back to your hive. Oh. You're going to go back to your hive. And then, and then you're going to hear macro. And then you're going to go back to automator. And you're going to press run. But before I do that, I'm going to just show you some proof that I am not messing around by doing that. I mean, I'm going to show my webcam. Oh, my webcam. So I'm going to show my webcam real quick. I'm going to show my webcam. Because I am not using anything. So, yeah. So yeah, now you can see my face and my hands, and I'm going to prove to you that I am not touching you. So we're going to go to vote back to Roblox, and then we are going to click run. And then we're going to do everything you did, so just wait for the results, and then wait for that, it's going to load, it's going to load. And then there you go, watch, my hands are up, and you see right now it is doing everything that I did before, you saw that I loaded up everything, as you said, and it's going to do exactly everything. See, no hands, no hands. Did that jump I did earlier. And here's Alan. Repeat with the loop thing, it's going to make it do it. However, please do not put zero in the loop thing. Because it's going to keep on going and you're not going to be able to stop it. You are not going to be able to stop it. So, yeah. And look, see, it's walking. My hands are up. I'm not touching nothing. And you see that ladybug stuck on us here because of the time, you know. And I did this precisely too, so it does not mess up. See, I'm jumping with that jumping thing. Kind of messed up a little bit there. Yeah, you have to be, because automator sometimes can be a little bit sketchy. You can, if you're trying to do a bug run, I, I, I highly suggest that you be really cautious and do everything to do that to see if one mess up. It should ruin a lot of things on your macro. You see? It's running everything I needed to run. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you macro. Oh, my God. That's how you macro on Mac Review Form Simulator. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. This is just Start of my quality. I told you guys more content is coming. This is just the first. I'm going to have a chronic speed simulator video up soon. And a whole bunch of other videos up soon. With all that being said, thank you for watching this video. And bye. And if you're still here, keep <laughs> So here, what I want you to do, subscribe, like, and sub to me now.